is a lot of history about flying coast to coast that you might not know. So Fox 13's photojournalist Taylor Murray gives us a new perspective on some aviation history in this week's Utah Elevated. There are still a few around out in the middle of nowhere, but in populated areas, they've been pretty well destroyed. I'm Patrick Wiggins, and we're here to talk about concrete navigation arrows. Today, we don't even think about it. You get in the airplane, you strap in, you lean back, and you know, and you wake up and you're at your destination. It wasn't always that way. Imagine in the old days, you're trying to get from one side of the country to the other, and it was before navigation as we know it today. So they put a bunch of these concrete arrows on the ground, and basically you just flew from one side of the country to the other, looking at the ground, uh, following across these arrows, and hoping you don't run into anything they were put in to help the mail pilots. Uh, it was, that's what basically got a lot of aviation started, was flying mail. Many of them had towers with uh, lights on them that would flash at night. Some of them were kerosene powered, some of them were electrically powered. As you can see from this arrow, it has them turn slightly. But you can kind of, you know, if you stand on there and look back, you can see where that other one is. And if you look forward, it's pointed right at where the one over there at Lake Point is. So it works. <music> on a beautiful day like this, it was no problem. But I just cannot imagine what it must have been like at night, bad weather, and trying to get that mail through. I've got so much respect for the people that flew long before me that, that, that as many of them lived as they did. Yeah. 